Hey guys, Scarecrow with Red Dart Welding. Today we're going to be working on this John Deere 4840. We're going to be working on the lift pump. Um, there's going to be a, uh, a clip of video somewhere in here of where we already replaced this primer valve. Um, the problem is, is, is that it was losing, losing prime when it sat. And this, uh, this primer pump, not really a valve, a pump, wasn't uh wasn't really working it was working but it wasn't wasn't building pressures just sloshing the fuel back and forth so i had replaced that um in an earlier uh clip and when i took this off i found out that uh it's missing some pieces in here so i had to go ahead and order those pieces so today we're going to be uh replacing all the all the guts in here pretty much i ordered everything i could order just to get it brand new there's two uh valves in here and springs and uh it was missing one set so that was the reason why it wasn't building uh it wasn't building pressure it worked fine when the tractor was running but if you let it sit a, a day or or a while it would uh, lose prime i guess it'd flow back into the tank or or just lose pressure and uh and you know this didn't work so you'd have to crank on it a couple times uh you know 30 30 seconds or so before it would fire up so uh hopefully that will fix the fix the problem with all of this and um and you know get it going uh so we don't have that problem anymore okay we had already replaced this um earlier but uh this is brand new this this pump or the um sorry the primer but we're gonna have to go ahead and take it off because i ordered the the uh the new valve that's in here so As soon as I find the right wrench. <sighs> There's a little brass washer in here. Make sure you put that uh, put that back on. You don't want to lose that. All right, what's in here is a little spring and then a uh, little plastic uh, seat, little valve seat. That's all that it is, and uh, this one was pretty old, so I just went ahead and, and ordered a, another one for it, but it's supposed to have one on each side, and it was missing one. So here's the, here's the new little valve spring. Just goes back in there, and then we're going to put this, uh, this primer pump back on there. Like I said, make sure you have that brass washer on there. And then this side, this plug also has a uh, has a brass washer, but it's seated down in there, so it's not going to come off. Um, this one doesn't have anything in there. That's what's missing. So we're going to put the other set in there. And the way these go is the little the little flat part goes down. So as you're as you're building pressure, as you're pumping using the pump, it it seats on the. Uh, Then put this plug back in. Okay. And then also there's an O-ring in here, and I just went ahead and uh, and ordered it just with working on this. Get everything replaced. So gonna be. And this also has a brass washer in it, so when you're working on these injector pumps and stuff, just make sure that uh, that uh, you grab all the parts as they're coming out.
All right, this has a little, know what this is, little, little valve, I guess is what it is. And then it has a, uh... all right, it's a little hard to get to, but uh, this is the, the pin. It was stuck way down in there. I'm um, gonna get some needle nose pliers and, and pull it out. And then there's a, uh, should be an O-ring somewhere in here that that seals up against, so. Pretty hard to see, but I'm gonna see if I can. All right, you can see right there that little hole. Um, that's where uh, that's where that pin is, and inside there is a little O-ring that uh, that seals it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to fish that uh, that O-ring out. And not on this one, but on a Ford tractor, I had that O-ring fail one time, and uh, what happens is is diesel flows into the crankcase so you got nothing but uh nothing but diesel it mixed in with your oil all right guys the um o-ring is actually on the on the other side on here so I'm gonna take it apart. It's a lot easier to get to on the other side. I'm gonna take all this apart so I can replace that O-ring since we're already working on it. Like I said, I had a Ford tractor that um, that, that O-ring went bad and it starts leaking uh, diesel into the uh, into the injector pump, which rolls down into the crankcase and it gets into your, your oil and all that stuff. And it, leak, it leaks continuously, um, not just when it's running, but uh, when it's sitting overnight and all that. So you'd have a, you'd have a couple gallons of, uh, of diesel in your, in your crankcase. So we're gonna go ahead and replace replace that while we're here. Uh, gonna already disconnect it. This is just temporary um, since we're working on a fuel tank on another project. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect this uh, this temporary um, hose here and disconnect this side. And on this line, it. Uh, it's uh it's flared here but i think it should have maybe not yeah it's just flared some of these have a um like this one over here has a uh a rubber uh, washer in it and then uh, i bought the kit to replace this this uh I'm gonna this filter's kind of old. Uh, you can just wash them out. It's just a little screen, but I had to go ahead and uh, bought the kit to replace that. And also this um, this glass bowl. You can see how it's all all chipped up right there. Uh, it doesn't leak or anything. But I had ordered a new one. They don't make glass anymore. They make a they make it out of aluminum. So I'm gonna get all that out of there. And then this lift pump is held on by uh, by three studs going into the um, injector pump here. Let's take these three nuts off. And there's little lock washers on here. Make sure you don't lose those lock washers. taken apart and then uh, I don't know if you can see this but this is the little uh, this rides on the uh, injector pump and as it turns this uh, this pumps the uh, um, the lift pump primes the uh, injector pump so I'm gonna have to take that off it has this little snap ring right here Let's see if you can see that little snap ring right there it goes on one side or inside
that comes out. picture here. There it goes. And then this whole uh this whole cam comes out. Gotta watch out because these ears um on here they will fall out. whole cam comes out and like I said these when you're pulling that out you got to watch out because these little little ears on here they just fall right out like that and you lose one you probably ain't gonna be able to get that part so and back to the lift pump I don't know y'all can see that but down in there inside that little tube you can kind of see through it but inside that little tube is a little groove and inside there is the uh is the o-ring so i'm gonna go ahead and uh and try to fish that out and and put the uh put the new o-ring in there this is gonna be pretty pretty difficult so i'm not gonna really film this because uh my hands and and pick and everything else is gonna be in the way but i will show you the o-ring that goes in there is this little tiny uh this little tiny piece right there so that's what uh that's what goes in there i'm gonna fish that out and put the new one in there all right guys i'm gonna try to try to film this the old one actually came out pretty uh pretty uh easy it's already out um but here's the here's the new one right there and the easiest way to put these in is just kind of lay it up lay it i don't know if you can see this you're probably not gonna be able to see this adjust this there you go okay the easiest way to um to do this is to is to just lay it right there on there and get you a little flathead screwdriver and push it down in there like that all crooked and then once you get it um in there you can start working it uh working it more uh squared up want to be careful not to not to nick it or anything like that um i don't know if y'all can see that or not but you can see how it's kind of crooked and then there it goes it's still crooked but uh but i can work it in there now since it's inside the inside that little sleeve like that y'all probably can't see that at all but um you know that's the easiest ways to put it in there uh, with a straight screwdriver and uh and then work it later